There's a sandwich for Mark. Now I'll make one for Peter. Alright. <laughs> Alright, yeah, Mark, you can have the nasty several day old rat chemical and sponge sandwich. I'll actually make a nice sandwich for my other friend because he seems like a nice guy. He seems like a good buddy. Oh, let's put some cheese, some ham. Oh, let me see. Tomatoes or lettuce. I'm not really a big fan of either, but it, I, I wouldn't think that the juiciness of tomatoes would go well with the juiciness of ham, so I'm going to try that. I, I, I don't really like to have vegetables on my sandwiches. Alright, there's a nice sandwich for my buddy and not nice nasty little sandwich for Mark. What? D I had to run, Denny sit. Yeah, I just made the... Oh my god. What? is the point what is the point of making me play through that little sandwich mini game yeah okay I'm coming to bed what is the point of making me play through that little sandwich mini game if it if it has no bearing whatsoever on anything I just yeah okay I don't have to take a shower thank God what's really what is the point of making the sandwich at all? If it just it means nothing, nothing is happening in this game. Denny, what's your diary for today? I tossed a football around the alley. Mark was telling a weird story, and da -da 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 -da. <sighs> yeah, okay. So he came over and tried to make out with her again. All right, come on. Let's go get the damn to up. Oh tuxes this way, never mind. Go get the tuxedo. Tux is ready, yeah, okay, let's put it on. Looking sharp, Johnny! Thanks for undressing in front of you're welcome, lady. I gotta remember to keep an eye out for spoons, I don't wanna forget about those. Okay, so I'm going home. Answer the phone, okay, great. I saw you on the street and wanted to say that tux looks great. Who are you? Susan? Who the hell is Susan? When did she see me on the street? Better than a slice of cheesecake. You do like cheesecake, right? Yeah, I had cheesecake in the... Okay, so Danny's in his... T oh, we gotta go play tuxedo. We gotta go play tuxedo football again, don't we? <sighs> Come on. Yeah, everyone's... Mark shaved his beard! You know, if I'm not mistaken, the whole beard shaving thing was not actually a plot point in the movie, but the actor just decided to shave halfway through filming, and so they had to write it into the script because, you know, he didn't... Okay, we're playing... Okay, yeah, we're going to play Tuxedo Football, but yeah. Why do we have to go play in front of the electronics store? Why can't we just play in front of the... Why can't we just play in the alley like we did last time? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. So, yeah. I mean, like, he... You know, as, as an actor, if you have a beard grown for a role, you're not just supposed to shave it halfway through your role for no reason. I gotta catch it. Okay, wonderful. And I don't care. I don't care if I throw it ugly or not. Uh, the game is running a little slow. Uh, don't. Okay, good. I don't know why this game is running so slow. I think because I'm also running a microphone right now. Yeah, okay. Wow. Someone's got an inner ear infection or something. Yeah, get over to him. <sighs> Gotta go take a shower, that's fantastic. And we're going home. I really don't hope I have to... I really hope they all break off from this group before we actually... I have to go take the actual shower itself. Yeah. 
Gonna go lay down. Yeah, fine. Cheap, 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 whatever. Where do you live? There are no other apartment buildings in this little sound stage of a city. At least not that way. Yeah, see you later. Yeah, whatever. Coffee shop tomorrow to work. Okay, great. Yeah, whatever. Oh. All right. I guess I can keep checking Mark's place, and I know he'll be there, so maybe something good will be happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Four of six. He made a little shrine to his beard. He misses it. That was quite a beard. <laughs> uh, seems like kind of a fire hazard, Mark. Yeah, whatever. Let me go take my stinking shower. Even though I dread nothing more. Well, let's go upstairs. Oh, one thing. Okay, yeah, fine. I'll take the damn shower, but, but I keep forgetting to pay attention to the kitchen table. I keep forgetting to... <sighs> okay, I'll, ke I'll check the kitchen table tomorrow, because there's probably a spoon there, but I keep forgetting to pay attention. Yeah, great, Monday. Just call me Garfield because I hate Mondays. <laughs> uh, and apparently he cannot navigate past a simple chair in his own apartment. Uh, ah, there we go, yep. Kitchen spoon. I think I've only got, what, three spoons? Yeah, only three spoons left. Where is it? Oh, that, sorry, that's the AI spoon. What do you do, kitchen spoon? It's helpful for eating from bowls and pudding cups. That's, that's great. What do you got to say today, Denny? Picked up the tux. Yeah, we played football in our tuxes. Ah, it's so funny. It's really not that funny or interesting or crazy. <sighs> it's wonderful. You know, I actually have seen some of the special features on the the room DVD, and Tommy Wiseau actually talks in detail about that scene where he put them playing football in their tuxes. That completely superfluous scene. Our new client is Tommy Wiseau. Okay, I'll go meet Mark for coffee. But yeah, the uh, he was talking about why he had them play football in their tuxedos, and he was he his his argument for why that scene needed to be there was basically he likes football, and you can play it regardless of special equipment, which you know is true enough. But what do you have to say, Marty? Cup of Joe, 88 cents every day. And, you know, it just, the way that, I, you know, it, it may be true that you can play football whenever you want, but an interesting movie scene, it or even a relevant movie scene, it does not make. Hot chocolate, I'll get a hot chocolate this time. Eh, I don't want a lot, I'll get a medium. Okay, there's an achievement for that, I guess. Wonderful. Why is there a picture of Tommy Wiseau on the back wall? This lady looks like she's strung out on crack. How about something like cheesecake? No. I know it's real good, I've already had your cheesecake. I cannot tell you, it's confidential. Anyway, how's your sex life? <sighs> Golden Gate Park, 6.30. Okay, we're going jogging tomorrow. Yay! It's this customer of the year again. That's great. Oh, I forgot to check inside for spoons. What the... Okay. 
Okay, so... Okay, so he just drew... He just drew a little mustache and goatee on me. Why is that a thing that I wish I could unsee? Alright, well... I don't see a spoon out here. I don't see a spoon in here. Is there one? Oh! I got... What is it? DeLorean spoon? TIME SPOON! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my god, you guys. I... I don't think you realize how much I want a time spoon. <laughs> well, I've only got one thing left that I wish I could unsee. <laughs> I already... I'm pretty sure I already checked Jen Denny's diary today. I, I keep forgetting. I wish I could get behind that little crack in the wall. Yeah, I already saw it. I bet there's some way to get into that crack in the wall, but I just want to know if there's anything inside there. I gotta go. I'm going to bed again. This is fun. Alright, now today we get to go jogging with Mark. Alright, we'll put on the workout clothes, I suppose. Uh, but first, as always, we've got to read Denny's diary. And he's probably asleep right now. He's not there. It is like 6, 6.30 in the morning and he's already gone. What does this kid do? That isn't. I thought he was just a student. Maybe he has an early class or something? Chris R. is on the loose, so the guy we brought into the police station is gone. I've only got two spoons left to find, and maybe they'll be in this park. Yeah, hi, Doc. Can you take me back to... Can you take me into the future where I'm not playing this game anymore? Oh, Lord. Oh, let's see. Before we talk to Mark, is this... Oh, there we go. Is this one here? Yeah! Wood spoon. Let's go. Alright, let's go jogging. Oh, I see a spoon. I see a spoon. I want it. Oh. I thought we were gonna go jogging. Let me get the spoon. Chlorophyll spoon. Alright. Yeah. I thought we were gonna go jogging. Why are we just tossing the ball around? I thought we were going jogging, Mark. Yeah, whatever. Just give yeah, just go. I are we go okay, so now we're going jogging? Catch me, come on. And apparently it's a little racing minigame. Wow, Tommy Wiseau jumps higher than freaking Luigi, man. I'm catching up to Mark. Look at that face. <laughs> and I got an achievement for beating him. So it looks like I now have all the spoons. What does the wood spoon do? The holder of a tree spoon cannot be knocked over by winds less than 120 miles per hour. Dime spoon, what do you do? You can travel back to the time at which it is first activated. Okay, I. The chlorophyll spoon can generate its own power directly from sunlight. Okay, I, the time spoon, it, even though that it doesn't seem to do anything, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, alright, let's just keep going. 